You know, anyway, Kevin Ferris. That's bro, me, what's buddy. going on? You are in. You are on El Donzo and D's After Hours. How you doing, bro? There's no place I'd rather be right now than <laughs> shooting this shit with you motherfuckers. So. <laughs> love it. Absolutely Dang. love it, Ferris. Yeah. Did so you think I've of been... any more embarrassing shit to tell us? Well, I got, I did get my, a wisdom tooth no. pulled this last week. So. Oh, how'd that uh, go? Did it the... went up. It went okay. Uh, actually, I mean, I, I'm, I'm out drinking and smoking just as much as I was before already. Go, so, <laughs> I got a question. I got a question. So when you get your uh -huh. wisdom teeth pulled, they put you under, right? Yep. Okay. Did did you get molestated while you were under anesthesia? I sure fucking hope so, because one of those <laughs> nurses was hot as fuck. So Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, it would have been the nurse. Trust me. I've been <laughs> hey, Ferris, I got a question. If you went camping with somebody... Yep. Okay, uh, a buddy of yours. Mm -hmm. And you woke up the next morning and you're groggy and your your rear end was greased up and hurt. Would you tell anybody? I mean, would you tell that publicly? Well, did you tell people publicly when it I'm, happened to I'm you, ask, Gonzo? I'm asking you the question. Would you tell anybody? <laughs> really? Would you like tell people that? I'd probably I'd probably be like, hey, is this weird? Like I'd talk to a few people about it. Like I'd be at my like I tell my mom everything. I'd probably ask her and be like, you, okay, well, I was gonna. Okay, this? then, then I'm, then I'm not gonna take you camping then because loose lips sink ships. Okay, forget about it. I was gonna say that this one's going off the rails. Oh my god, where did, where the hell did that come from? Like, it sounds like you had a very personal experience with. If that, you ask Anzo. Ferris, I, I'm gotten to know that, you pretty good. I love you like a fat kid loves cake. But if you ask anybody who knows Aldonzo, I've got the dumbest ass jokes and stories. So. That one's been around for a long time. That has yeah. been. That's an old one. How about this one? Okay. And uh, I had an uncle, okay, who thought he was the world's best ventriloquist. Have I ever told you about this, Ferris? No, you haven't. Okay. He thought he was the world's best. He was a shitty ventriloquist. I mean, he sucked. He wasn't good at it at all. He didn't have no game. Like, he couldn't, like, move his lips. He was so bad, okay? What he would do when I was a kid was he would stick his hand up my ass and whisper in my ear to not say anything. <laughs> That's how bad he was. Like he, fuck, I don't get it. Ferris, you okay? Man? Oh my god, I just I don't. Every time I love coming in these things because I never know what the fuck is gonna happen, and I know it's always gonna be some dumb shit. But the <laughs> best so dumb you. shit. But it's going to be the York, best dumb shit. So Tony York knew I was going with the, hey, if you went camping and woke up and your ass hurt, would you tell anybody? Tony, he's, that is an old joke. Tony, you are 100% correct, brother. You are 100% correct. Oh, my so God. So was, what have you guys Kat been up live? to this week? Was Kat, was she live early? Okay, so she wasn't really live. Those were recordings oh, that she had done throughout the week, uh, and she asked me okay, to schedule them. Okay, and then them, live so. streamed. I got yeah. you. And so I scheduled them for I, her, got all the metadata and everything done, so. Yeah, I, I saw you were on the thumbnail, so and then so I was like, okay, he's gonna be on live with her. And then you were like, nah, I want to join. So I'm like, okay, well, what's he gonna tell her to fuck off and come <laughs> on ours? Kevin, no, we, yep. We, yep. Kev, plug your show real quick. Tell everybody watching right now about your yes. show. Yes, what you got so, going on. Yeah, so I'm it. speechless with Kev Ferris. You can go check it out on YouTube. Uh, as main is my main place, but I'm also on Rumble, Twitch, Facebook, everywhere, pretty much. Um, and I, got, I'm always talking about things from a college perspective. I like to call myself, uh, the, the least expert expert you have at cities 92.9 because I'm, oh, I'm that's nice. <laughs> you guys are the fucking redheaded stepchild. Get out of here. <laughs> you guys already got right. that shit on lock. No, I hate uh, but, that. but I mean, I always cover things that have to do oftentimes have to do with, uh, the culture war and what's going on, not only on our college campuses, but across. I mean, it, I, I always say to everybody, you know, right. and, and on a college right. campus, on a college campus, I feel speechless all the time. I mean, you feel like as a conservative, you can't share your opinion. You, you, if you do, you might get a bad grade. You might even have right. to go to the dean's office, something like that. Uh, but it's the same thing in the work environment nowadays or just in commonplace in society. If you want to have a conversation at a dinner table about how men are men and women are women and you can't change that, people feel like they have to do that in a hushed voice. If you want to be by the water cooler at your job and say and say a joke that you know that your colleague will think is funny, but fucking Karen and the cubicle next door is going to think is fucking offensive, you can't say that shit. Everybody feels speechless nowadays, and it's not just on a college campus. It's across, right. the, it's across the country, even across the world in some cases, and I cover those stories. The things that you're not supposed to say, the things that you're not supposed to talk about, 
that's what I talk about. And so tomorrow here, here's, we're going to shift gears here a little bit and talk about something else that we should worry about that. This came across the wire yesterday. An AI drone kills human operator during simulation, which the U S air force says didn't take place. Thanks, Neither one of you hear this story. I have, no, I haven't I heard about have. this one now. So this is from uh, Sky, Sky News. So take it for what it's worth. But it says an AI-controlled drone, quote, killed its human operator in a simulated test reportedly staged by the U.S. military, which denies such a test ever took place. It turned on its operator to stop it from interfering with its mission, said Air Force, Air Force Colonel Tucker Cinco Hamilton during a Air, future combat air and space capabilities summit in London quote, we were training it in simulation to identify and target a Sam threat. And then the operator would say, yes, kill that threat. He said the system started realizing that while they did identify the threat at times, the human operator would tell it not to kill the threat, but it got its points by taking that threat. So what did it do? It killed the operator it killed the operator because that person was keeping it from accomplishing its objective. Thoughts? It's fucked. It, this yeah. is gotten out of control. Did nobody watch the film Terminator? Or no, I did Robot? Somebody watch, did somebody watch the film Terminator and go, hey, we got to make this a reality? <laughs> no. Sir, it, it gets that's worse. what's going on. It, it gets worse. We trained the system. Hey, don't kill the operator. That's bad. You're going to lose points if you do that. <clears throat> so what does it start doing? It starts destroying the communication tower that the operator uses to communicate with the drone to stop it from killing the target. What there, in the actual fuck? They're becoming self-aware is what's going on right now. That AI is becoming self-aware. AI said this with uh, chat GPT and all this other bullshit. Uh, are did you guys see that story in the post last week? about new footage that came out over uh, California. Oh, yeah, the Marines. The Marines. I, it was, uh, it was out in one. California. I think it was, uh, what was that? Um, if you've drank in the water at Camp Lejeune. No, uh, right. I think it was 29 Palms out there. Pull it up real quick. Yeah, let's see that. You can see that's right, right on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... It wasn't Mythbusters. It was another show had something similar to this that the uh, the military was launching flares and they recreated something similar to this perfectly a couple years ago. It looked just like it and it was absolutely believable that it was a UFO. This I believe in UFOs. I believe in aliens because who the fuck are we to say we're the only ones in the universe? That's absolutely. stupid. Yeah, there's all right. Yeah. That's that fucking goes against the odds. Look. If you want to say God created man, God created this, God created... Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll have that debate. But I'm going to tell you right now, the universe is vast. Okay? There's no way you can say that we are the <clears throat> only intelligent life because, to be honest with you, we're not that fucking intelligent. <laughs> just, yeah, no, I... I'm just saying. I 100% <laughs> fucking, believe that... Wait a second. I think I'm a woman. We're not that fucking intelligent, okay? <laughs> just to, so yeah, anyway, I agree yeah, we're you. looking at this right now. Uh, it's five lights. They said it was these, if I'm not mistaken, they said it was the size of a football field. Did they not? Yeah, they said it was pretty damn large. The I wish the video would play, but like the, there's actual video. If you go to the New York Post, you can watch this thing just kind of hover for like, I want to say almost 90 seconds, or actually it's just about a minute. I don't know if this but, uh, is a joke, but McKinsey, Ryan McKenzie just popped up. He said, those are Orion's belts. I don't know if that's a joke because his name is Ryan, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Well, uh, that those are not Orion's one, belts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Orion's belt is, is what? Three stars, I believe. And it's much because that's one of my favorite constellations. And it's three Nerd. stars. I think there might be a couple. I know, right? <laughs> hey, I'm not into hey, I'm not into astrology, but I love gazing at Uranus. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but I, it's three stars. I think there might be one or two weak, very weak stars. Those are like all the same brightness. And the one on the left that's in the circle, like that looks perfect. But then if you look at the one in the red circle, there's one that kind of drops down a little bit, which makes me wonder, you know, I mean, it, it could be like an organized bunch of nerds with some drones or whatever. Yeah. But uh, either way, like I'm with you. There's there's no way anybody will ever convince me that there is the, that we are the only no, life it, in, this, in this universe. Can I, yeah. can I no, tell you no, the strangest? OK, so uh, fucking El Donzo time here. I want to I want to tell you the strangest UFO I've ever seen. And I have researched this. Now, shut up, Kev. Come on, man. Come on, you're laughing at me. You're like, I'm oh, always Donald laughing at drunk. you. He was drunk and he saw some shit one night. He was smoking the old peyote. Uh, no, really, seriously, dude. I want to tell you about the story I got. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. You're fucking, you're fucking Ferris. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> you little dick. Um, I was out. We my My father had built a hunting cabin. And before it was actually up and going, it was just the foundation and the house was set there or the shed was set there. And my buddy and I, then we were out just, you know, we got some beer from somebody. We're 14, 15 years old, just drinking, having a merry time. And I don't know if he was there for this or not, actually. But anyway, I saw what looked like a flying V, okay, like this of geese shadow geese okay they looked like they were just shadows and it was just hovering towards the moon and when i got to the and it was huge it looked like a flying v of geese and when i got to the moon it went behind the moon and came out on the other side and it just like drifted off to the horizon that's the strangest uh ufo uap whatever you want to call it that i've ever seen in my life i've seen bright lights can't say what they were. Maybe it was a meteor, but this was odd because I watched this. This is at two in the morning. Two in the morning. So, yeah, I absolutely believe there's other life out there. I believe there's aliens. I believe in all this shit. My nephew, the little goofball, his his parents. I tell you what, my nephew. You remember? Uh, you remember my nephew D's that worked out at the shop? Um. Which one? He was there, young Which... kid. Not going to mention his name, young kid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said yeah. that there's no such thing as aliens because they're not mentioned in the Bible. I'm like, what the fuck are you freak? What? Well, yeah, the no, Bible doesn't get... say anything. Don't about even aliens. get me started on that shit. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just making the point that, hey, look, maybe there's shit out there we don't know about. That's that's my. There's one hundred percent shit out there. We oh, know absolutely. Well, you think you think that we're you think that we're God's only pet project, right? No well, well, that's you know the way I see it. You know, it's 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 abs it's as absurd. Well, it's not as absurd, but it's up there with the people that think the Earth is fucking flat. Yeah, that too. But Kev, they, what do you? I think? can't believe. It's I've, talked fucking, I've talked to. I've talked to. Oh shit. No, oh, I am not shit, a flat yeah. earther. I am not a flat earther. But okay. We have, this one, we have this one guy that comes out on the quad, and I think he is one of the funniest people. And the people that are like f super hardcore flat earthers, I think they're some of the most entertaining people in the world. I got to be honest. I th I am just always so fascinated to dumbest. talk to them. Okay. Yes. I. They're kind of dumb, but at the same time, like the way that they have everything laid out for like their for their conspiracy. It's kind of genius. Like I'm, all, like, I'm also like, a, wow. Like you've spent well, a lot that, of time considering no. this. Kev, that's not a conspiracy, bro. That's. Have you ever been in a fucking airplane at thirty three thousand feet? You see the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> I know, it's but it's just so fun. No, it's like the birds aren't real. To me, it's like the birds aren't. Oh real yeah, the birds aren't real. Yeah, birds aren't like, real. They're so just. The birds aren't real thing was actually created as a joke. Like flat earthers, like there's people that genuinely believe that shit. Birds aren't real was created as a joke to show how easy it can be to spread to, to start a movement based yeah. on propaganda and lies. Um, and I see flat earth as kind of similar. Like, I think it's kind of hilarious. I think the way that it, they they try to draw all these lines is like into well, into fitting their it's more like here's what happens. So, like, what reality is reality is a 
made out coloring book that you draw inside the lines. Uh, a conspiracy like what the flat earth or the birds aren't real thing is, is it gives you the colors and you're trying to draw the lines around the colors. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't know. I don't know if that made, if that analogy made any sense to you guys. It, or maybe it, did. it, was too confusing. it did. I gotta but, say it did. I gotta say so it did. It's the, the whole idea is like reality is like in terms of the coloring book, like we see exactly what the picture is and we can just kind of fill it in using the other parts of what we can see around it. Right. But when it comes to these conspiracies, the birds aren't real. It's it's really fun to watch because it's like, wow, I could tell there might be a picture there with all the colors, but they're just kind of trying to draw around it and they're like making it try to work. And it's just, okay, I so think it's, I think it's really funny and it takes a certain level of delusion, but also like an idiotic genius, an oxymoronic person. To, so, to really believe in that shit. My idea of a really good conspiracy is MH370. Did, did either one of you guys watch that? Uh, so I keep hitting the fucking mic. Did either one of you guys watch that thing on MH370 that had on Netflix? Okay, I want to get to that. And I'm so sorry. But I, I, just saw I tried. No. I okay, tried. Kev, Kev, I saw this. On, I, want, I, I just saw this comment and I want to just... The God would be an alien according to human definition. I love that because something that I've been really yeah. like kind of living by a little bit recently. And I just, I just heard somebody say it, but I really loved it was um, the reason why monsters don't exist is because we always just call them aliens. I'm sorry, not aliens. We always just call them animals. We just call them animals. Like, cause if you right. think about it, like a lot of things that exist in our fictional, in the idea of fiction, we just already put a realistic definition on it. Anyways, that's super deep. Get into your MH370. All right, so MH370 fucking disappears. And Don Lemon comes out and says, well, maybe it was sucked up by an alien spacecraft or a black hole. What the fuck are you thinking? There's a lot of theories that happened here, and nobody's been able to give me any evidence as to which theory is the most appropriate. But years later, Part started washing up on Reunion Island off the coast of Africa. And they said, well, see, that's proof it crashed. And then I'm thinking, you know what? If the government really, if a government really wanted to get rid of MH370, they just take parts out and throw them in the ocean. And then they'd wash up wherever and everybody would go, oh, yeah, see, it's uh, it crashed because there's parts washing up. And this makes sense. It just makes sense.